Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav. And today we are going to learn how we can record our test in Playwright. And this is going to be very easy and very interesting. In the last session, we have learned how do we write our tests. And I have shown you step by step from scratch, how do we create our test. In Playwright, we have a tool called Code Gen, also called as Test Generator. And we can use it to record our test and we can get our Playwright test scripts created automatically. So today we are going to see what is CodeGen, the test generator tool. We will learn how to record test. We will see while recording test, how can we set the screen resolution or the screen size? We are going to learn how we can uh, record on a specific browser, how we can emulate devices like iPhone or Samsung or Nexus. How can we emulate, emulate these devices while recording? We are also going to see how can we emulate the color scheme like or the dark mode or the light mode on the browser. And I will send you a link. You will find a link in the description below this video for the quiz. You can take the quiz and do let me know your score after the session. And if you have any questions, any doubts, you can let me know your questions in the comment section below this video. So with that, let's get started. And let us first see what is code gen and how do we use the test generator. So Playwright by default comes with a tool called code gen and it is also called as the test generator tool and using this code gen test generator tool we can record our test and when we start this code gen we have a command that i will show you in a moment when we start code gen it will open two windows and the first window will be the browser window where we can go to our web application and we can interact with our website and the second window will be the playwright inspector window this is the window that gets opened when we try to debug our tests as well, and that I will show you in a later session how to debug. But for now, it will open the Playwright Inspector window where we can uh, see the recorded scripts, and then we can also start or stop recording from there. So with this, let us start step number one. That is, we will open the terminal, and we will run the code gen command, and the syntax is npx playwright and we say code gen now we can also add a url uh, after this but for now let us use this simple syntax first npx playwright code gen so i will go to my vs code and i have my project open here and you can create you can open a new terminal or in my case the terminal is already open so i will go to the terminal here and here i will say npx playwright and I will say code gen and hit enter. And let's see what happens. So this should open two windows, the browser window and the playwright inspector window. And you can see our browser window is open here. And by default, it will open the Chrome browser, the Chromium uh, browser, but we can also change the browser that I will show you in a moment. So here is our browser window. And if you see here, we also have our playwright inspector. So this is our Playwright Inspector window. Now I will split my screen so that I can show you both the windows. Uh, I'm on Windows operating system as of now. And to split the screen on Windows operating system, you can select one window and then press the Windows key or the command key on your keyboard and the left or the right arrow. I press the Windows and the left arrow. So therefore, this window is now stacked. The browser window is now stacked on the left side of my screen. And then I will select the window to be stacked at the right side, which is this Playwright Inspector. So I hope now you can see both these windows, the browser window here and the Playwright Inspector window here. And I can also change the size like this. Now, if you are on a uh, Mac, you can do the same thing on Mac as well. For example, you have two windows open on Mac. Uh, let me say I have this two windows open on Mac here. The way to stack or split the screen, split the windows on Mac is you press this green icon, which is to maximize and you just hover over it or keep it pressed and you will get the option to enter uh, to set the window to the left or right of the screen or make it full screen. I will say do this on the left, stack this on the left and the, this window I will select and it will get stacked on the right. So you can do this on Mac as well. And this is what I have done on Windows. So let me close this here. So now here, 
I have my browser window and the playwright window. And you will see this record option. This record button is already enabled. That means recording is in progress. So I can start recording. I will go to some website. You can go to any demo website. And let us say I go to some website like uh, saucedemo.com. You can go to any website. Here is a website. There, there's a demo website. And here you can see you can give any of these usernames. And this is the password secret sauce. And here now you can see wherever I am taking my cursor, wherever I am taking my mouse pointer, it is highlighting the objects on the screen. It is finding and highlighting the objects. And you can see it is also showing us the selector that it is going to use. So in this case, it is going to use this data test equals username. Here, if I go to the login button, you can see this is what it is going to use as a selector. So you can see uh, beforehand what is the selector it is going to use. Now, let me enter the username. I can select any of these usernames. So I will say standard user here. I will click in the username box and you can see the scripts getting recorded in the playwright inspector. I will say standard underscore user. And then I will click on the password box and the password is secret underscore sauce and then I will click on the login button. So you can see it has logged in and all these actions are getting recorded in scripts here. So I will just click on this and say log out and that's it. I will stop the recording. So I will click on this record button and it will stop the recording. Now you can see some more options. Here is a copy button to copy the script. Then here is a resume button, a pause button and a step over button. Now these three buttons, resume, pause and step over will be useful when we do debugging. But as of now, we don't need this. So I have stopped the recording. And here, if you see this drop down here, we have options to export this recorded script in any of these platforms or languages. So we can uh, export or copy this in Playwright test, Java, JavaScript, Python, Python, async, PyTest, C sharp, etc. But for now, I just want the same playwright. So I can copy from here, click on the copy button, or you can manually also copy the steps by selecting. And then I will go back to my VS code to my project and under the test folder, I will create a new file. And I will say REC or record one underscore demo dot spec dot gs you can give any name to the file and i'm just going to paste the recorded script here so let me show you i will expand and show you this i'm pressing control plus b on my keyboard so that i will the sidebar is uh hidden and i can show you full screen so you can see this is the recorded script it has everything. It has also imported the test and expect scripts from the playwright package. And here is our starting of the test. The name is test. If you want, you can give any name to this test. I will say record demo test. And here you can see all the scripts along with that. It has also added the comments. So it says go to this link, then click on click here. And here it is filling the username, then adding the password. Then you can see all these things with that we have recorded and everything is recorded here. So I will press control B again on my keyboard. And now to run this test, I can just say, I'll go to the terminal. And now you can see the code gen is still running to stop code gen. You can either press control C on the terminal and then say Y. So I can say control C and it will say terminate job. I will say Y and it will stop code gen or you can just go to the browser where you have recorded and uh, close the browser. It will stop code gen. So now to run this, I will say the command is npx playwright. Uh, it is npx playwright test. And because I want to run the specific file, I will give the location with that is 
in the test folder record one demo.spec.js. Now, if I run this, it will run in a headless mode. I want to run in a headed mode. So I will say hyphen hyphen headed, or let me also say hyphen hyphen project. And I will say Chromium so that it only runs on a single browser. Uh, we don't want to spend a lot of time in running in all the browsers. And I will say hyphen hyphen headed. All these commands we have learned in the earlier sessions. So let us now see it is running our test and opens the Chromium browser and logs in and logs out. So it was quite fast. So it is running fine. So this is the command. And uh, we can also add the URL of our application right in the command so that it will start the browser along with that application open. So this is the syntax. You can just say npx playwright code gen or npx playwright code gen along with your application URL. So if I say here on the terminal, if I say here npx, okay. Uh, so if I go to this terminal and say npx playwright code gen, and then I will say, I'll give the URL. So now it should open the browser along with this URL open that is google.com. So you can see it has opened the browser and here is the playwright inspector and it has already gone to that website that is google.com. So you can see if I close this browser, it will stop the code gen utility. So it has stopped it here. So this is how you use it. Also, if you want to see all the options, all the commands we can use, all the options we can use with code gen, you can say npx playwright code gen and say hyphen h or hyphen hyphen help. And this will show you all the options we can use with the code gen tool or the code gen command. So you can see all these options. So here I will show you some of these, some very common options. So you can actually uh, send the recorded script to an output file as of uh, now, as of the earlier example, we manually copied and added it to a file, but you can use this. I will show you this in a moment. Uh, you can use the browser by saying hyphen B or hyphen hyphen browser and select what browser you want to record on. You can select the channel, color scheme, the device, emulate the device, emulate the geolocation coordinates. Uh, you can also do authentication and uh, proxy. Then you can set the time zone. You can set the user agent. You can set the resolution or screen size. So all this we can do with this code gen utility. So let me clear my screen, clear the terminal. And let us go to step number two. And uh, we have already seen step number two when we ran the command npx playwright code gen, it opened two windows, browser and playwright inspector. And we recorded our steps and we also checked that the uh, scripts were getting generated. And then we saw, uh, we saved and ran and check the execution. So everything was fine. We have seen all these steps. If you want, you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you and watch it multiple times. So you will never forget what is code gen and how to use it. And with that, let us see some different options we can use with this code gen utility or this code gen command. So if you want to run code gen on a specific browser, or if you want to record on a specific browser, you can say hyphen B or hyphen hyphen browser and give the browser name. So we have already seen this. So here I can say, I will say here, just give me a moment. I think uh, this is hanged. Let me just give me one moment. Okay, so here I will say npx playwright code gen and then hyphen b or hyphen hyphen browser and I'll say Firefox. Now, if you do not give any browser, then by default, it opens Chrome. But here I'm saying to open in Firefox and the rest of the things, if you want to give a URL along with the, uh, along with the command, all that you can do. 
So you can use multiple options together. So we have our browser window and our playwright inspector window here. And now I can do the same thing. I can just go to the website, let us say source demo.com. And you can see all this is getting recorded and I can now use it. And you can see this is the, this is now being recorded on a Firefox browser. So you can do that. Uh, then the other thing is you can also save to a file. So let us say we have a file. So I'll create a file. I'll create a file under the test folder. I will say record to underscore demo dot spec dot js. So this is our js file. And now I will say npx playwright and code gen. And now I will say hyphen hyphen target and I will give the language. So as of now we are using JavaScript. So I will say target hyphen hyphen target and I will give JavaScript here. I want to export the recorded steps in JavaScript and then hyphen O this is to give the output file and then the location of the file. So which is test and here I will say record. So I can just say here test hyphen O test and record to demo. I will press tab so that it will auto complete. And this is also useful so that uh, I do not make any typos here. So this is what I'm doing. So now whatever I will record should directly go here. So let me start the command and let us see. So we have got our browser here, browser window, and this is the playwright window. And I have already shown you how I am splitting my screen and opening both of these windows side by side. So I'll just go to the website source demo.com. I'll enter the username standard underscore user and the password secret underscore source and click on login and then click here and log out and I will stop the recording by clicking on this record button. Now, if you go and check, if I go and check my record to demo, you can see this is recorded here. Everything is recorded here. I can just stop my browser window. I can close my browser window. It will stop the code gen tool as well. And you can see everything is recorded here. Now here, if you export like this, if you record and save to a file, in this case, you may have to add the test block. So it, it directly starts with async. So let me add the test block here. Before async, I have to give the test and the name of the test. And that's it. I think the rest of the things looks fine. I don't need these extra brackets here. This should be fine. I can run and check this. So I will say npx playwright and test. And I will run this specific file record to dot demo dot spec dot js. And let me run in a head it mode. And let us see if it runs fine. So yeah, some issue, it says const chromium require playwright. I think this again, we have to change. If I say here, require, and then here, if I start typing playwright, or I think I should say at the rate, Playwright, you can actually copy this from any earlier uh, 
script. So normally we say const and we say get test and expect modules from the playwright package. Uh, just copy this from any earlier script. Yeah, this is what we need. I can either say like this, I can import or say require. This we have seen in very details in the last session. So I hope you know about this. And here also, let me just use this at playwright test. Uh, let me see if this works out. I'll clear the terminal and run the command again. And let us see if this runs fine. Yes, this is running fine. And it is running in a headed mode. So it will run on all the three browsers, Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit. It is done on Chrome. It is running on Firefox now. And now it is running on WebKit. And everything is fine. And uh, on WebKit, I think it is not able to find the icon where we have logout, which is fine. So let it fail, that is okay. Uh, but yes, this is how we can record and save to a file. Now you can also set the viewport or the screen resolution by saying hyphen hyphen viewport hyphen size and give the size. So I can say here, let me close this. This is the report and here it has failed on WebKit. We will see this later. For now, I will say I'll go here, stop the report and clear the terminal and I will say npx playwright code gen and here I will say hyphen hyphen viewport. So this is viewport size, so hyphen hyphen viewport size equals 800 by 600. So this is the command. And now if I run this, it should open the browser in this size, in this viewport size. So you can see it has opened the playwright inspector and it has opened the browser in that particular screen size. So you can also use this viewport size. Then uh, we can emulate the devices. So if you, if you go to your Chrome and if you go to these three dots and go to more tools and go to developer tools, or you can just press F12 on your keyboard. So it will go back, go to these developer tools. And here you can see these are the device, here is a device icon, I can go here. And then I can select the device from here, iPhone, etc. I can select from all this list of devices, any device, and then I can do testing on that particular screen, which will emulate that device. The same thing we can do with uh, Playwright and with code gen tool as well. So here I can say, hyphen hyphen device and give the device name. So here I will say npx playwright code gen hyphen hyphen device. And then I will say equals the device name, let us say equals. And I am saying iPhone 11 here and hit enter. And now you will see the browser window will emulate here iPhone 11, I think, uh, uh, we have used a different name. It is asking us, it is showing us a list of devices I can use. So uh, let me say, I'll go with, I can go with this one, Galaxy Note 2. Uh, I think the issue may be, maybe it, needs a, let me see. It is iPhone space 11. Yeah, I think that may be the mistake. And I'll just put this in double quotes. And let us now see. So this should 
start browser in that emulated. Yes, you can see the browser is started and it is emulating iPhone 11 and this is our playwright inspector and now we can do our recording on this emulated device. So you can do like that and you can also emulate the color scheme. You can say NPX playwright code gen color scheme equals dark or light. Now this will uh, happen only if the website supports the color scheme dark and light if it is available on the website. So let me say uh, here if I see some website let me just go to the playwright official website which is uh, playwright.dev and here I can set the color scheme dark or light and let me also directly do it from here npx playwright code gen and then I will say hyphen hyphen color hyphen scheme equals dark so I can here say dark or light and I will also give the website URL that is playwright hyphen dev so you can see here on this I can set dark or light mode this is dark and this is light mode so this is what I am trying to do here let us now see it should open playwright.dev website in a dark mode or dark color scheme and yes uh, some error here let me see it says navigating to dev waiting till load and it says name error so it is okay it is dot dev not hyphen dev that was my mistake it is playwright dot dev and let us now check it should open the browser yes you can see it has opened playwright dot dev in a dark mode and here is the dark mode if you want you can change it to a light mode as well so you can set the color scheme and then uh, i have already shown you you can check all the options using the help command it will show you all the options that that you can use with uh, the playwright code gen command so you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you watch it multiple times and you will always remember all these commands and you can also take the quiz now i will have the link for the quiz in the description of this video under this video and if you have any questions you can let me know i hope this was very useful i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and as i always say never stop learning